All right, so I'm gonna show how to disassemble this Dell Inspiron 15-5578. So first what you wanna do is just remove all the screws from the bottom. So I like to work on it with the um, hinge actually facing away from me. Um, so there's four towards the back and then there's a fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So remove all 10 screws. All right, once you do that, then to open the cover, um, if you lift it up here, you'll see there's this little gap here. So you can actually use your fingernails or your fingers just to pull on that. All right, when you pull that up, um, you can kind of pull up the little latches. If you can't get it up, you can use like your fingernail or a pry tool, run along the edges to kind of help pry up the clips. So it'll get stuck back here. Um, you might be able to just kind of wiggle it and pull it and it'll come out. So here you go, just like that. All right, so underneath the cover, you got the battery. So the battery, it comes out by, you can kind of just grab it and kind of wiggle it out. Um, I'm gonna leave the battery in there though um, because uh, they just needed me to clean the fan. I already cleaned it up and I don't wanna risk messing up stuff. Okay, um, but anyways, well actually, yeah, I don't want to do, uh, it has a separate CMOS battery. Okay, so I'll remove the battery. Just use your fingernails or some tools to kind of wiggle this. Be careful if you're using some tools not to use metal because you can accidentally short this out and you don't want to do that. So once you get part of it out of the way, you can lift up and grab this little piece, extra flap, and kind of just use that to wiggle the connector. It'll pop out like that. Once you do that, you want to press and hold the power button on the side. All right, just to drain any power from the computer. Um, you do this so that if you touch any components here, then hopefully there won't be enough power in there to cause damage, okay? Um, the battery, if you need it, it, the model is WDX0R. So if you need to replace the battery, that's that. Um, you got the um, hard drive here. So I don't see why you would need to remove this connector, but if you do, you have this pull tab. Um, I'll usually pull this while I kind of use my fingernail to pry under the corner just to pop it up just like that, okay? So if you need to remove that, that's how you do that. And then you just line it up and push it back down. If you want, you can replace this with a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. The connector for the hard drive comes out just like this. Just use your fingernails. Um, is there a metal bracket in the way? There's no bracket holding it, so you should be able to just um, wiggle this connector out just like that. Um, you probably will have to take the hard drive out. There's three screws holding this bracket down. Once you do that, you can lift the whole thing out. And then there's four screws holding the bracket onto the hard drive. So you transfer that over to the SSD. All of these are using a PH1 or a J1 screwdriver. All right, then you got the speaker. The cable goes all the way to this other speaker and it connects right here. To remove that connector, you just like the battery, just use your fingernails or um, tool and wiggle the connector. Don't pull straight back, just keep wiggling it. It'll eventually pop out just like that. So if you need to replace the speakers, that's how you do it. There's no screws holding it down. It's just these little rubber things that kind of grab it and also these clips on the side. So if you need to lift it up, you do have to kind of guide it around the clips and then remove this wire, um, but it does come out pretty easily. Okay, so this one also has clips, so you do have to push it forward this way and then you can unclip it and lift it out. So I'm gonna leave it in there. And this one you lift from this side first by pushing it towards the hard drive. And then after that, you can lift it and this side out, okay? All right, so I'm gonna leave that in. You got this board for the power button and the volume button, so if you break it, um, it is replaceable that connects to this board here and you got the CMOS battery here All of these connectors come out by wiggling it just like the speaker connector um, Then you got the IO cable which connects this board to the motherboard or the logic board All right, um, so the SD card slot and the USB port and the wireless card board are all replaceable um, This board can be replaced um, the wireless card like every other model you take the one screw out all right, once you remove the screw, this metal plate will come out. They do come separate, so make sure not to lose the screw or the metal plate. Then you can kind of lift the thing up at an angle and pull it out, all right, and leave it back in there. The wireless antennas, if you wanna take it out, you go from the tail, just like every other model, and then pull it up. Um, to put it back, make sure to line it up. Um, make sure to get it completely lined up before you push it back down, because if you 
try and force it down and it's not lined up, you can damage the connector. Okay, so make sure it's lined up. And then you can put this metal bracket back in place. All right, just like that. So this one, the fan was making noise. Um, when I first opened it and then I was spinning it, it was getting stuck, so I took it out and cleaned it up. So to remove the fan, you just basically, like the other ones, wiggle this connector. Just keep wiggling it, it'll pop out like that. There are two screws here holding it down, all right. Um, so you can open this up and take the fan out, just like this. All right, if you want, you can clean it up. Oops, I need to clean it a little bit better. Okay, so clean that up. Okay. So this fan actually is a little bit bad. So I don't know if this fan can be completely repaired. Um, I definitely loosened it up to where it's okay, it works now. Um, but to repair this fan, you'll have to cut these little pieces off and then um, you can probably add grease. I'm going to do that because right now that I checked it, it feels like it actually it spins freely, but I can feel that there's a rumble to it. Um, that's actually probably a bad bearing. So to fix the bad bearing, you'd actually have to replace the fan on this model. Um, so if you need a new fan, there's the model here. Um, 023 dot one zero zero six m dot zero zero one one um space a zero one okay so that's the model um you can also look for the fan specifically for this um model laptop all right so you got the keyboard connector to remove that you just flip up that latch and then you can lift up the purple tab and pull it back i'm going to leave it in there all right um i don't know if i mentioned but the io board connector has a little bit of this um, plastic adhesive thing that you can kind of pull up and it pulls up this latch. Once you do that you can pull the latch and you can kind of just wiggle it to pull it back just like that. Um, to put it back just make sure you guide it in straight. Don't put it in at an angle. All right pull it back and then put the latch down. So it goes the same on this side as well. Um, let's see is there anything else? You got the DC jack. There's just one screw holding it in place very easy to remove you can pop out the connector just like this oh excuse me the speakers and then the ram you can pop this to the sides all right and it'll come up just like this and the ram we got is pc4 2400t so if you need to replace the ram it's ddr4 memory okay so we will put that back all right so this has two four gig sticks so it should be fine all right, and then you also got the LCD connector and the um, uh, touchscreen connector. So I don't know if they're separate, but basically this one has the same lift up tab method as the IO board connector. I'm going to leave this in place. And then this one has the same um, style connector as the uh, keyboard. So it looks like they also put an adhesive over the top. So you do have to peel this clear adhesive tape off to pry up the little tab. Um, I don't want to peel that up because I don't have an issue with that. Um, but yeah, so it looks like the trackpad is also replaceable. Um, let me show underneath the battery just because I already have this open. Um, there's only two more screws holding this um, thing in place and then you can lift the battery out. So here you can see how the keyboard, oh actually the keyboard and trackpad all connect with this one cable. So you got the keyboard going into this board, the keyboard backlight cable going into the same board. You got the trackpad, or this is the charge button light. Then you got the key, um, the trackpad uh, cable here. And yeah, so the trackpad is all to this. There's no separate thing for the button. But there are screws so you can replace the trackpad if you want. Um, it looks like the keyboard is held in place with metal rivets so if you need to replace the keyboard you have to replace the whole um, palm rest assembly um, either that or you have to cut all these melted plastic things it's actually melted plastic not metal okay um, so i think that's all there is to this model that i'm going to show so hopefully this video helped you if it did please like and subscribe because that'll help me and thank you for watching i will see you in the next one all right bye